Hi, this is Kez from Spider WordPress. In this video, we're going to start looking at some of the block background colors. So, you have the eight stackable blocks in the website weaver. So, the header block, the main menu block, spotter block, spotlight block, sorry, the uh, second menu block, and so on. So, we're going to start looking at customizing the presentation of these blocks and also the individual menus. So, jumping over to the website weaver, the first thing that I'm actually going to do is set the blocks to have a full width background. So easiest way is just to show you what I'm talking about. So expanding the site background and general option settings. I'm going to open up the background settings and I'm going to change this block background setting here to full width. I'll save that and update. And I'll show you the change that it makes. So you can see there, the background of each block expands to the full width of the window area. So the actual site content area is still confined to whatever width you set with this little dragger here. But the actual block backgrounds can now go to the full width of the page. So, and then that's the case all the way through the full width of the site. So the next thing that I'm going to do is start to uh, change the background colors of this menu and the spotlight and this second menu and then these other blocks down here. So what I'm going to aim to do is have these two menus and the spotlight block form a kind of a, a solid area of color and then have everything under that be white background. So. The first thing I want to do is make this uh, main menu here match the color of the site title. So instead of going to the trouble of sampling those colors again, I'm just going to come in here and just copy that code out of the site title settings and then add it in to the main menu background setting. And I also want the second menu to have that same background color. And on top of that, I want the spotlight background color to also be quite similar, though not the same. So what I'm going to do is first set the, uh, the same color in there. Now, You'll see here is the old color that you had in, so that's the color we just pasted in, and now when we change the color, you get a comparison, so that's a good way to make slight adjustments to uh, colors. So that's done. So now you can see we've got this blue block that I was describing. So I'm going to update that. And let's have a look at it. Okay, cool, coming together very nicely. And now the next thing that I want to do, I don't want this, this area or this area to, to look like separate parts. I want this all to be white. So I'll go into the Featured Strip background and set that to be white. And then I'll do the same thing in the Content Area background. So now you can see everything is a nice blended white. So this all becomes a single combined panel. And now I want to go with something a little less plain for the, the font choice in here. So I'm going to expand the main menu bar background font and color settings because we want to look at the font settings and I'm going to click the choose font button and in this case I actually want to use the Droid Sans font which is a it can be a particularly nice font to use in menus and I'm going to increase the size a little bit so that just gives you a, a nice pleasant look for your, your menu items and because the font is a little bit bigger now I'm also going to increase the size of the menu so 
So that's starting to look really nice. And then I'm going to do the same thing down here in the main menu. I'm going to choose Droid Sands. Set it to 14. And set it to a white colour. So now we'll just update that so we can see how it looks in the front end. starting to come together really nicely. And then the next thing that we want to do is to control these hover colors. Now I've got some dummy content that I've just added in using a plugin called WP Dummy Content. It's brilliant. It just uh, makes it really easy to add some placeholder content that you can work with. It's just a few pages out of Tom Sawyer and Huckleberry Finn. So in order to start playing properly with the, the full drop down menu, I'm going to go in and set up the actual menu system. So all website with themes work with the WordPress custom menu system. So I'm going to create a new menu. And then I'm going to add a few pages to that menu. And now because I want to test how the different drop downs look, I've just dragged each item over to the right a little bit. So this will be a top level menu item, these will be drop downs, and then this one will fly out to the right. You'll see what I'm talking about in just a moment. So that's the menu created. And now I have to tell WordPress where I want this menu to show up. And I'm going to choose the main menu slot. And now you can see you have the the drop downs and the fly outs. And now we want to adjust the colors for those. So the easiest way to do this is again to copy your original background color for the top level menu items. And then paste that into the second menu, into the drop down background and color settings area. Now because we want this to be just a slightly different shade, that's the color you just put in. This is the color you're changing to. So now I can get a comparison. Click done. And then I'm going to do the same thing again in the next level. Enter that color and now just make a slight adjustment. Now hit save. And now you can see the different colors that you've just entered in. So we're going to update the theme. And now you have the nicely colored menu settings. In the next video, we're going to start looking at formatting the uh, presentation of this part of the site and we're going to start adjusting the layout a little bit. Thanks!